Hello my soccer universe. Well, yesterday was not quite as exciting, so I'm doing the video actually at home because I will not have to talk as much about it. However, we have three qualified teams and we had a little bit of late drama um, in one of the half games, shall we say. I think that's probably fair to uh, say it. The early games I honestly didn't see too much. Um, I saw that Bayern had a little bit of trouble. I mean, they still didn't look all that great. Uh, Bayern had a little bit of trouble getting uh, the result against uh, Olympiakos, although Olympiakos was only on defense and it was more or less only a matter of time. I think Bayern hit once the post in the first half um, and in the second um they get the goal through Lewandowski and then very late with the first touch Perisic makes it 2-0. I think there was even a chance um, sooner to get that result. So yeah, Bayern off to a good start in the same group. Tottenham has initially a little bit of trouble and that was one of the late games. It was a mosquito. Um, has initially a little bit of trouble with uh, Gervenas Vesta and, you know, probably more with themselves. Uh, and I have to say, those Spurs jerseys from a distance in the dark blue look good. If I look them up close, I don't like them. That is how it is. Uh, they get the first goal. Uh, when was it? It was Los Celso in the 34th minute after absolute slapstick. I mean, there was... Uh, Kane taking a shot, it hits the post. Um, the rebound falls to a Spurs player, it's saved on the line. Um, Kane then moves to the other side, um, gets again to the, to, to the ball, puts it on the, on the net. Not really, so Son tries to push it in, hits the bar, it comes back and then finally Los also gets it in. Uh, in the same half, actually, also Gervena Sestar had a chance where they hit twice the wood woodwork in one attacking move but couldn't get the equalizer but as soon as uh, Son makes it 2-0 and shortly after 3-0 the game is done and dusted and Eriks in the 85th adds a fourth one. So um, in that table now Bayern is qualified without you know the last two games were not that great they had the big result against um, uh, Spurs and then it was kind of, yeah, so and so. Spurs with seven points is probably set to move into the second qualifying spot. Um, yes, Gervenas Vesta could overtake them. I don't see it. Same thing with Olympiakos. Uh, Olympiakos would need to get a win in London uh, to stay in contention. So I think uh, we can say uh, Bayern and Spurs will make it from that group. Uh, the other early game was actually way more dramatic. Um, in the sense that uh, Juventus took a very early lead, and actually I saw that one live. Um, a free kick from Ronaldo from, from from the side, and the goalkeeper makes a complete mess out, out, out of it. I mean, he takes him with his arm, lets it go, and then it goes between um, the legs. A really uh, awful goal. And um, Ramsey puts it over, over the line, kind of stealing the goal from Ronaldo. But to be honest, it would have been an own goal for, for the goal. I don't think Ronaldo uh, would have uh, counted that goal. Uh, Lok, though, equalizes a little bit later um, in the 12th to, through Miranchuk. And they were most of the time level. And I have not seen... I mean, I saw some highlights. Um, but there was a huge chance in 78th, which I already then saw live again where Locke could have take, taken the lead. They were really twice with good shots on goal um, that with a little bit more precision and uh, level head headedness, they could have taken the lead against Juventus. And so it's Douglas Costa in stoppage time. Slaloming to the defense with a nice double pass with uh, um, Iguain. And he slams it home and makes it 2-1 Juventus. Kind of a lucky win, but it sees them through to the next round already. Um, the second game between Leverkusen and Atletico Madrid was a little bit of a disappointment uh, from the side that Atletico did not show much. I mean, it was all um, Leverkusen that uh, had the initiative that moved forward. Um, 
really, I, Atleti is also one of those teams that does not look good at the moment. They're a little bit more Arsenal than the Atleti of old. Yes, greedy, but um, otherwise not much. And in the end, it's an own goal by Thomas that gives Leverkusen the lead. So the second goal in the Champions League is also an own goal. The first one was an own goal by Hovedes in the first game. Um, really messy defending. Uh, there was a series of corners in the end. Leverkusen all played the corners close, so they were all packing in front of goal. Tempers were getting high. Uh, quite quickly and the referee had all hands full in trying to restore some peace. Um, in the second half, uh, Folland, who had already a glorious chance in the first, makes it 2-0 and at that point Leverkusen actually looks not that bad because they hold the head-to-head -head against Atleti. They lost only 1-0 in Madrid. Um, and Tampa, and I think it was for most time closer to 3-0 for um, Leverkusen, but in the end um, Atleti gets uh, the goal, I think in the last 10, 10 minutes or so they said, okay, let's really retry. Morata gets the goal, he almost would have gotten the equalizer. But the scene of the evening was before that, there was a corner kick for Leverkusen and everyone <laughs> pushing, da 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 da. Um, and the referee gives four players at the same time a yellow card. I think this is the first of what I have seen. Uh, just I think it was around the 75th, just checking here. Now the 79th, Ta, Bellarabi, Morata and Oblak all booked in one swoop. Really crazy. And so the table, as I said, Juve is through and it's a similar CAC situation as, as in the Bayern group. Atletico Madrid 7 looks good. I mean, Lok has, Lok and Leverkusen are level on points. Um, it's, I think, between those two and we have to uh, head to head next time. With Juve through with only 10 points. But yeah, they're through. <laughs> no, one, no, no, no one can push them out. But it might be that uh, you will let a little bit go. But on the other side, you were at against Atletico Madrid. They surely don't want to lose. Uh, the result of the evening, and that's why we are in Real Madrid, was of course Real Madrid against Galatasaray. Uh, pure carnage. I don't know. Galatasaray played with a team without Turks. Uh, I know that some people in Turkey will blame it on that fact. But that game was done after 15 minutes. Rodrigo getting the 4th and the 7th, a goal, and then Ramos with a pretty cool back penalty, I have to say. Not really Panenka, but he puts it high, uh, really nicely done in the 14th minute. Um, and then in the second half, Benzema gets on the sheet. Oh, no, the, on the first half, in the 45th, then on the air 81st, and Rodrigo gets his third in stoppage time. There was not much from um, Bonzem, uh, from uh, Galatasaray. Bonzema is finally scoring for Real Madrid Champions League. It all looks okayish for them now. And with that result, it's the highest loss for Galatasaray in history. They match the highest uh, result in history. So, yeah, pure carnage. Uh, Real Madrid kind of asserting themselves finally in this group. Um, PSG also qualified with a very messy 1 0 win over Bruges. Bruges could have won that one easily. Uh, if they convert their chances. Icardi takes the lead. And the amazing thing is that the PSG has not uh, given up a goal yet in the Champions League. And yeah, they almost would have because there was a penalty given, rightfully so. And I don't know why Thiago Silva was uh, complaining about it, but it was so poorly taken that um, okay, um, Navas could easily save that one. So yeah. Uh, was not very impressive from PSG, but they get the job done. I still love those PSG jerseys, uh, absolutely. So PSG through with 12 and Real Madrid more or less qualified. I mean, Bruges with two and Galatasaray with one point. I don't think anything else will happen. Now to the probably most dramatic group. Um, let's start in Italy, where in Milan, um, Atalanta and City played, and City from the get-go end. And I say bravo to those colorful jerseys. <laughs> they look crazy, absolutely crazy. Uh, but against the blue and black, it actually makes for a nice co contrast. Um, as I said, uh, City from the beginning, one way football at the towards uh, the goal of Atalanta. I mean, it was really Atalanta, they couldn't breathe. And very quickly, Raheem Sterling gets the goal. Uh, they have numerous chances to make it 2-0. They even get a penalty uh, to make it. And that penalty uh, by Gabriel Jesus was really put poorly wide. 
Uh, Gabriel Jesus, I think two year, years ago, was flying. Now he's a mess, honestly. If that is 2-0 at the half, City is through and uh, wins that game. However, Atalanta finds the fighting spirit somehow. Uh, and very quickly, after the half, uh, Pasalic makes it 1-1. And that gives Atalanta a lot of energy. And we know Atalanta doesn't look good in the Champions League, but when they get something going, they can actually be a danger to anyone because they're offensively really, really strong, actually fun team to watch. Just defensively, they had their troubles so far. Um, but yeah, Pasalic gets the goal and then they, they had also had their chances, uh, most namely, when, uh, most all notably when Ilicic was played uh, free in the 80th. Um, he would have been clear on goal. Uh, Bravo, who came on at halftime, because uh, you know, we need to, Ederson had a little bit, we need to save him for the big game. And that was the other thing. City was a little bit more playful than Liverpool maybe yesterday, but you could still tell. That game on Sunday is more important than anything. And so Bravo comes on and is sent off because he feels um, um, Ilicic who, who would have been clear on goal. Uh, it ends 1-1. I think a good result given their performance, the first point for Atalanta against City. Um, City just doesn't qualify yet. And then the most dramatic game, probably the best game, was Dinamo Zagreb against Shakhtar Donetsk. Uh, with Alan Patrick giving Donetsk an early lead in the 13th, uh, sold out house in Zagreb, everyone expecting a win. And yeah, Dinamo Zagreb then takes the game to the opposition. It was a really level game, uh, going back and forth, but with a slight um, advantage Zagreb. Petkovic gets the equalizer, and then um, the sequence late is that a Dinamo Zagreb player is sent off in the 74th for a yellow-red, and you think, oh, this might give uh, Schachter a little bit of life, but five minutes later, five minutes later, the second yellow card for Marlos, who is the only player booked for Schachter in this game, gets sent off for an equally stupid, stupid, stupid tackle. Uh, and it's all level. Um, there have been, uh, wood, uh, the woodwork has been hit by both teams, but then uh, Zagreb seemingly pulls, decisively pulls away uh, Ivan Nuzic, makes it 2-1. Um, Ademi makes it 3-1 in the 89th, so 82nd, 80, 83rd, 89th. And you think Zagreb is done and can celebrate another win and really edge very close to qualification. Morash puts one back in the 93rd. And then, I don't know how they defended it. Schachter comes uh, in, 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 into the box. Um, seemingly a foul uh, occurred. When you look at VAR, uh, it was, there was probably no contact, but the he is the Piatov ran into the box and got uh, an elbow from uh, Theophil Catherine. Stupid, and that gave the penalty. I think the penalty would have been taken away. The referee first decided that the penalty was given uh, because of the dive. But then when you look in the replay, Piatov really got an elbow, and that this was only a yellow was a surprise to me. And so in the 97th, Schachter gets through a Matteo Stete a penalty goal and equalizer, which now puts them in the better position. We have City at five, uh, with 10 points, as I said, almost qualified. Both Schachter and Dynamo can catch them still, um, but they need two wins each, which is uh, conceivable. Um, but if that happens, they would uh, both uh, leapfrog Manchester City. I don't see it happening. Yeah, conceivable. Um, I mean, it's possible. It is in the realm of possibilities, mathematical possibilities. I mean. Um, but Donetsk calls now the head-to-head -head over Zagreb, and that's going to be an interesting one, uh, how that will end. Atalanta only with one point, minor chance only to move on. That was the Champions League. We have the Europa League tonight. I'm all set up for my last sold -out house against PSV Eindhoven. That will be interesting. Uh, I'm not talking now about uh, the Arsenal game. We'll alter this Europa League uh, tomorrow. I want to keep this a Champions League. Um, video. As I said, groups A to D, not as exciting as E through H. But yeah, uh, let me know what you thought about the games yesterday. Drop a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon.
Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my sub universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.